It's February 11th, 2008. I'm Sonic Sons. Just finished watching uh, Return of the King. Um, third, third part of the Lord of the Rings movie trilogy by Peter Jackson. Inspired, of course, by the books by J.R.R. Tolkien. And much what I'm saying now is things I've been saying to myself in the last few minutes now I decided to turn the computer on not my first time seeing the film by the way <laughs> by a long shot I happen to own the platinum edition <sighs> but it happened to be on TV Turner Classic Movies it was more than halfway done but oh could I turn it off? So I watched and I loved it as I have before. I thought, oh, that I could spend a day with Peter Jackson, or Hayao Miyazaki, for that matter. Several others. Some of whom I'm aware of, and some of whom I'm, I'm sure I'm not. Someone. People. People who can understand some of the things I see. My creative works. And furthermore, people with the experience and the means to actually make those works into reality. I could spend a day. I some chance. <laughs> I saw one of these men to use the example of Lord of the Rings. If by some chance I saw Peter Jackson across the street <laughs> for whatever reason. First of all, would I have the courage to talk to them? I hope I would. And if so, I'd... I'd run up to him and say, Sir! Mr. Jackson! Look in his eyes and say, Let me work with you! I'm sure he'd be busy. You <laughs> can't just stop and talk to any random fan or anything. Maybe he'd catch a glimmer of the intensity in my eyes. As I say, sir, just an hour. Just an hour, that's all I ask. And find some place to talk. Go to his office or something, maybe, who knows. Imagine I'd have to be in New Zealand for this all to happen. Maybe I'll go to New Zealand someday. And see if by chance I can run into Mr. Jax. And of course, Mr. Miyazaki. This is Jackson, whom I'm using in this particular example. It's a sad thing to be interrupted in the middle of such reverie. Happened during the movie, too, by the way. Uh, but uh, my roommate walked in a couple times, really. And here I am, so enthralled, even though I've seen it before. <laughs> And even though I'm walking on this dinky little TV I have, and there's no theater or anything, but I, I so love it. It almost brings me to tears. And my roommate walks in, and he's like, hey. <laughs> Just reflect on how there's such a difference in our attitudes at this moment. <sighs> in a sense, that's how I feel, uh... Every time I talk to anyone, because I have dreams. Dreams which are hard to communicate, and 
until they reach a final form. Mm. Great thoughts. But the pieces you see, thousands and thousands of pieces we put together, and until you have a finished book or a finished movie or a finished video game design or a finished something, it's rather hard to get anyone to pay attention to you. And I'll admit, out of that sentiment, that uh, perhaps I haven't been as forthcoming as I should in, in showing others my ideas, my thoughts. The world is perhaps a little more receptive than I give it credit for. Well, shame on me. I have dreams, you know. Oh, I have dreams. I have things I want to do with life. I have some inkling of what I will do. Just some inkling. I don't know how it all work out, but I feel it must work out. It must. If I stay true, hmm? eh. even in my darkest moments, I've never given up on the long term, the grand idea that will someday be accomplished. Nay, if the devil would stay my hand, he would not go by that route. The way is shut. It was made by those who dream. I keep it. <laughs> nay, if the devil should try to stay my hand, it would be by taking that which exists in the far future and never allowing it to come to the present. Tomorrow, 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 we shall do something. Not today. Mm. I felt a bit of that. Not that I've totally wasted myself, but... I haven't lived perfectly, have I? No one has. All too easily, an hour or a day or a week will go by and... Well, it's hard for an hour to go by without a single thought. <laughs> but I know I could have done more. I could be a little more bold about it. A little more adventurous. Try a little harder. Dream a little bit farther. Yes, yes. All too easy of a trap for me to fall into. Because of my old pains. Where previously I had great amounts of stress. And in watching all the documentaries of actually both Miyazaki and Jackson, that is one thing I don't like about the process. All the stress, all the working long hours. And of course, if you're going to work long hours on something, <laughs> It might as well be Lord of the Rings. And that would probably make it worth it. But just a side note. But if I were doing things my way, I would find a way. I know it may be. Of creating such glories without enduring quite so much pain. And in doing so, we'd open the way for more glories. All these glories left unspoken. I dream of making real. Such things that I love. <laughs>